IDEX is a customer of uh, Box and of Box Relay, which uh, is using Box Relay for their lab change control process. Uh, IDEX, just for context, is uh, an animal uh, health and well being uh, company. It's a multinational firm um, with over 8,000 employees in over 175 countries. So, a pretty large um, global organization. You can see there are several stakeholders that are involved in this process um, that takes essentially a lab equipment um, request, change request, uh, from uh, origination to implementation and archival. And um, Beth will now walk you through um, the demo of uh, this process. So let's jump right into the demo with Beth. Beth? For this lab equipment change request process, we're going to go ahead and log in a box. Now, for those of you who are new to Box, this is the Box web application. You see all of the folders that Donald uh, is a part of. The blue folders are folders that he is collaborating with others. The manila folders are folders that he specifically owns and has no collaborator with. Now, going in, you see that there is the change request folder. This is the process we'll be using for the document review and approval process for these lab equipment changes. The process is as follows. When someone makes a copy of the change request template, they must then make updates to that template and modify it. Once they've made changes to that change request form, they're gonna go ahead and submit that to the new submissions folder. Once submitted, that's gonna go ahead and trigger the review and approval process of that change request. And once approved and the equipment has been changed on the floor, that uh, document is then going to be archived. What's important to know to this process and before we start building Relay is that one can only build workflows on folders where they are the owner or co-owner of. And the purpose of that is to really make sure that no one is moving around your files or folders without you knowing. So for this step, we're going to go ahead and go into Relay to show how easy it is to build. This is the interface of Box Relay. You see some workflows that are currently or orange meaning that they are active and currently in progress if anyone were to trigger that workflow. You also have grayed out inactive workflows. Now we can start this by clicking new workflow, but for the sake of time, I went ahead and built out many of the steps to this process. Clicking the relay, you see a summary left-hand uh, view where it shows all of the individual triggers and outcomes. Moving upon these, you see the right-hand rail move. And so what we're going to do is actually show how it looks to actually build individual steps. We went ahead and named this the lab equipment change control process highlighted a description of when to use this. And now we're going to name our trigger. Now again, you have many events which can trigger a workflow to start, and there is no right or wrong way. You can choose from file events, we have about 10 of them, folder events, metadata field events, let's say if uh, an invoice was over a million dollars, you wanted that routed to the VP. If it was under a million dollars, you might have want that routed to maybe a director. You have the ability to then create a task event. In this case, based on the process we have, we know that when the file is moved into the new submission process, that, will, that is what we want to trigger. So here we're going to choose the correct folder, the change requests, and the new submissions folder. And that is going to begin the trigger of the workflow. Once that file has been uploaded and moved to the new submissions folder, that is now going to trigger the task to review the file. So we're going to click on an assigned a task and a general task to Donald Dugan to go ahead and review the change request form. You have the ability to add a service level agreement. In this case, there's one day for him to complete this task. And he's going to select the file from which to complete this task. And it's the file that triggered the flow. In most cases, that is always the file you will choose. Once he's completed the review, it then moves to the second step, which is the VP to approve or reject the change request. So here we can assign a task to Beth to go ahead and approve this task with specific directions on what's asked of her. She's given two days to complete this task related to the file that triggered the flow. And if approved, we then move on to the third outcome which is assigning a task back to Donald to go ahead and implement that change request. He's given five days to make the changes on the equipment floor. Again, this is related to the file that triggered the flow. And once he actually has made the changes on the floor, 
we're going to go ahead and move this file to the archived folder. Now what's great about Relay is that it works really well with the box interface. So if there was a retention policy applied to this archive folder, it's automatically applied by Relay when the file is moved. Okay, so we've made our updates to the, to the Relay workflow. No code, no dragging and dropping, uh, no, uh, no need to know all of the Active Directory file names. We are going to go ahead and click Update and move back to Donald's view. So here we're going to go into his All Files page and into the change request process. So here, here's the change request file. We're going to go ahead and copy that. We're going to go ahead and rename this file, change request for process one. And we're going to go ahead and um, before we kick this off, we actually need to make modifications to this template. We're going to go directly into our pre-built integration with Microsoft Word. We're going to open this file, make some changes to the submitter name. Um, we're going to call this Jane Doe. She's going to enter a submission date and a completion date. And let's assume all the other details are already put in by her. She's going to hit save, which again, because of the pre-built integration, automatically saves it directly back to box. And from here, we see that it's already been refreshed. We can go see the changes made directly in the box preview. Fantastic. So now that we've uh, updated our change request form, we're ready to go ahead and get this change request submitted. We're going to go ahead and move this into the new submissions folder. Now, once the file is moved into the folder, we've went ahead and triggered the workflow because it is active. So acting as Donald, he sees a new task in his task center. And here he sees the task assigned to him to review the change request and make modifications as necessary. Here he can go in review the change request, make any modifications to the document if needed by directly going into the application. In this case, it all looks good to him. He's going to go ahead and mark this as complete. Once his review is complete, remember the next step is for Beth to go ahead and approve this document. So let's see what Beth's view looks like. Here is Beth's email. She's opened it up for the day. And here she can see that she's been assigned a task from Donald. So directly from her email, she also gets a notification to complete her task. If she were to log in a box, she'd see this in her task center as well. So logging in, she can directly go to that document, view the change request form, and she can see that Donald completed this document before her. She could see any comments if there were any comments, and here she has the ability to go ahead and approve that document. Looks good to her. She's going to go ahead and approve the file. And upon approval, it is now moving to the next phase, which is actually to make the change to that equipment. So we're going to go ahead and you can see that uh, the change of this equipment has now moved on to the next step. You see Donald Dugan has been assigned this task and the task is in progress. So I am logged back in as Donald and I've been assigned the task to go ahead and make the change request happen on the floor. I went ahead and did that. And so because I've made the change to the equipment, I'm going to go ahead and mark this step as complete, finishing our review and approval process. Now that the lab equipment has actually been changed on the floor, the process is done. And so we want to make sure that this is archived appropriately. There's nothing that needs to be done on our end because the step has been completed. The file has automatically been moved from the new submissions folder directly into the archived folder. Now to show you tracking on Relay, we can go back to the actual workflow and go to the tracking tab here. Here you see that I've created this workflow and we've seen this workflow run a total number of five times, three of which completed and two in which have stalled. And going into here, you can see the activity of that specific file when it was moved, when tasks were assigned, completed, when approvals were completed, and when files were moved. This entire end-to-end -end activity of this file is exportable via CSV file. So here you see how easy it is to build a workflow within Relay, how quick it is to build, 
how simple it is to interact with the files within Box, and how you can see the end-to-end -end flow and the transparency when it comes to the tracking 